Hey everybody, welcome back. Stone Broke Adventure. We've got a new project that we're starting. We're gonna be building a two component portable solar generator. One box is gonna be the 12 volt section. The other box is gonna be the 120 volt with the inverter and the solar charger. We'll explain all of that as we get into this project. We have a couple sponsors for this project. Lead Time, right? They sent me the battery, they sent me the uh, battery monitor, a lot of the components that I'm going to need for this project, the MPPT charge controller. Uh, so they're really helping out with the project. Also, Vibor, they have sent the inverter, 2,500 watt inverter, and the 55 amp converter charger right here. We're going to do this project as a series. Um, if you look down in the description below, we're going to have a link to the playlist and you can follow along as we build. Also, we're going to have another playlist and that's going to be the individual reviews, um, tests of each of these components that I got off of Amazon. So you can kind of see a little bit more detail of each single component instead of putting it all into the build. Uh, we have a separate playlist for that. So we finished up the boat project and I needed another project to get into. And this is what I decided I wanted to do. Started communicating with the companies, told them what I was wanting to do. And they really helped out a lot supporting this project. A lot of brainstorming, handwritten notes. Uh, we've got it all figured out. I love working on projects like this because I like to learn how things work. And uh, say this is going to be a real detailed build. It's not going to be one episode, real detailed, but you can always fast forward. You can always skip. Uh, so subscribe, uh, hit the like button. Any comments you have down below, I will get to those. So I think the first step that we're going to have to do is we're going to have to sort out these products here. And I'm just going to put them inside the box, right? That they're gonna actually be in. After we put them inside the box, then we're gonna start the build on the 12 volt section. And uh, when that's done, we're gonna start the build on the 120 volt with the solar connect uh, section. These are modular boxes. I got these at Harbor Freight, but I think they're gonna work out great. Real heavy duty boxes. They have the little clips on the side, right? If I'm out camping, and all I need is the 12 volt section. I don't have to bring the whole thing with me. This 12 volt section will actually have the uh, charger in it, the charger, the battery, and then all your 12 volt ports. So all you have to do before you go is you just plug this into an outlet, charge it up, it will be able to charge with an outlet, and uh, you can just grab and go. You will be able to connect this to the solar charge controller inverter section and that will charge the battery down below with some Anderson connectors. So let's go ahead and get this, uh, all this stuff sorted out, put in the boxes, and I'll go through kind of all the components as we stuff them in the box. Okay, so we're working on the 12 volt section. So what are we gonna need for the 12 volt section? Of course, the heart and soul of the system. This is the lead time. Right, 100 amp hour lithium iron phosphate battery. This is the mini version, nice, small, compact. What's gonna be nice about this system is I will be able to expand. I will be able to change these batter this battery out with a bigger battery. I could put a battery in here, another battery in here and run parallel. So that's my plan. The ability to expand on top of this, be able to change out components, be able to service this thing. This is going to be our 120 volt inlet. This is going to flush mount into the box. You grab a cord for many of your wall outlets in your house, plug that in, and that's going to plug into the charger inside, which we have right here. This is the 55 amp converter charger from Vivor. I've tested this out. It's in a separate playlist. This thing works great. Um, they do have a 45 amp and a 65 amp. The 45 amp, it actually worked really good, probably a little bit smaller, um, but the 55 amp, you'll be able to charge that 100 amp battery in just a few hours. So let's go and put that in the box. We have our cigarette lighter outlets, our standard 12 volt outlets. We have two of those with all the wiring we, we need. We're gonna throw that in the box. We have USB, 
USB-C ports right here. Has a USB-A, USB-C, little on-off buttons. Got a little two-pack of those. Okay. All these components and their links will be in the description down below. We have our six-way fuse block. That way, all of our outlets and components on the 12-volt section of this system are protected. Lead time sent that, right? Another review in the other playlist. 250 amp circuit breaker uh, disconnect switch. This is gonna protect our battery. We're gonna have this in line to the battery to protect that battery. Also, we have the lead time 500 amp battery monitor, right? That battery monitor is a shunt battery monitor that is going to go into the 12 volt section. Since the battery is there, we're going to probably put that screen display right here so we can monitor the battery in the 12 volt section all the time. And it is a, a shunt uh, battery monitor, really accurate piece of equipment. I believe that is all we have going in this box for now. And uh, let's go ahead and start loading up the 120 volt section. Okay, we're gonna have our 120 volt system right here. Of course, 120 volt heart and soul. The 120 volt is the inverter, this 2500 watt inverter from VWAR. Right, we did a real nice pressure test video on this. That'll be uploaded soon in the playlist. Let's get this in the box. We have uh, two flush mount 120 volt outlets. They have USBs in these also. Throw that in the box. We're going to build a pre-charge circuit for that inverter with a push button and a resistor. As we get to that, we're gonna explain the purpose of the pre-charge circuit. Pre-charges all those capacitors in the inverter really uh, save the lifetime of the inverter. So let's go put these components in, push button, resistor. Uh, we have our copper terminals, our uh, lugs for our wire. We don't have the wire yet. We will get it soon. We're gonna put everything in place and wire it up once we figure out where everything's going. Also, we have our Anderson connectors. This is what we're gonna use to combine the two boxes with an Anderson connector extension cord, right? Had a four pack of those, that's what we need for that. Also, we have two Anderson connector mounts. We'll go ahead and put one of them in there, the other one goes in the other box. Of course, we have the power inverter um, shutoff switch. So we have our XT60 solar connectors. Came in a pack of like 10. All I need is one for the outside of the box. This is what we're gonna plug our solar panels into. All right, of course, we're gonna have another 250 amp circuit breaker, right? Disconnect switch circuit breaker. That's going to be in line with the inverter to protect that inverter and give us the ability of shutting it off completely from the system. Two bus bars, black, red, heavy duty. Uh, these are 250, 300 amp, 300 amp bus bars connect all of our uh, 12 volt uh, connections through those bus bars. We have a couple of inline circuits here, right? inline circuits coming out of the solar charge controller. Uh, there's another place that I'm gonna have to put one of these. I have a 30 amp and I believe a 40 amp inline, right? Little circuit breakers. And of course, we have our 30 amp MPPT uh, solar charge controller. Uh, we got too much stuff in here right now. We'll just set it on top of the box. And once we start working on this, we're gonna figure out a place to put this. And I say all these are gonna have their own separate review videos in the playlist down in the description below. So this is gonna be a really detailed um, build, real detailed project series of videos. So yeah, on the next episode, right around the corner, we're gonna start building that 12 volt box. We're gonna start getting everything into its position where it needs to be, start running some wires. We're gonna complete that. Then we're gonna work on this portion. So from Stonebroke Adventure till the next episode,